stop there. This is one of the easy Okay, so there's a couple ways that we can apply and use, uh, utilize rather, the shovel kick. Uh, one of the ways I think about it the most is the, when I'm cross-stepping uh, for my nahanchi. That's kind of what I have in my mind when I'm utilizing this. What we're going to do is we're going to take a slight step forward, a little shuffle step. I'm going to raise my knee up high and then I'm going to bring it at an angle into usually what I'm aiming for is the top of their knee or the inside of their leg around this, this knee area because I want to create that bend or I want to push it back. Uh, that's the most common way to use it. Um, when we do that, uh, I like to, we like to throw hands up top, right? So that brings their guard up, keeps their mind occupied away from, from their lower extremities and that gives you an easier target uh, to keep them in close and uh, to keep them occupied while you're trying to stomp down. So if I'm utilizing it here, maybe I throw a one, two, maybe I'm reaching to grab and I come in and I stomp this way. And if you're actually going into your opponent, then you're gonna stomp step. If you're doing that for repetition's sake, up, stomp, come back, right? So I go one, two, stomp, back, one, two, stomp, back. That would be like one of the most common ways to utilize that kick. So, so if Michael here is my opponent and I'm throwing hands, one, two, if I'm stepping in this way, I'm gonna attack his front leg, right? I'm gonna step here, collapse it this way, right? So I'm gonna throw hands, stomp there. And this is one of the easier targets to get. You could also go for the inside of his instep or the top of his instep. If he switches his legs and he's standing on you southpaw, same thing, but I'm gonna come inside and try to get him to buckle there. Now those aren't the only targets here on the instep and the knee. Sometimes, um, depending on what they're doing and what angle they're at, you can even kind of check them on the inside of their hip with the shovel kick. So I can be here, maybe I try to pull him down and I don't get it and I can step to shove him into the mat. Right, so that's another way you can kind of use that, right? So the shovel kick can be utilized anywhere from here to here, right? So anytime where you have this, something's occupied here, you can stomp, stomp, you can step around, stop, depending on what, you're, what you want your opponent to do.